Hello Year 9s, this presentation will explain to you what we can offer you in computer science at Longsands. So GCSE Computer Science is an academically challenging course which suits students best who enjoy science and have a good mathematical ability. Students completing this course will be equipped with the logical and computational thinking skills that are necessary to succeed beyond the GCSE. This course has a real relevance to the modern world. While students will no doubt already have some knowledge of computers and the related areas and have covered some of this in Key Stage 3, this course will give you an in-depth understanding of how computer technology works and a look at what goes on behind the scenes. As part of this, we will investigate computer programming, which many students find interesting. Through this study of computer programming, the course will help you to develop critical thinking, analysis and problem solving skills. For many, it will be a fun and interesting way to develop these skills, which can be transferred to other subjects and even applied to everyday life. This is a course that will stimulate interest and engagement with technology and technology related careers. So why choose GCSE Computer Science? Well, it really does enable you to understand the world around us and everything we interact with. So there's a lot of topics that we cover. We'll go further into algorithms and build on your knowledge from Key Stage 3 and provide you with stronger logic and problem solving skills. You'll learn Python programming, which gives you those that foundation to be able to understand the logic that's applied to all programming languages and enable you to move on to other programming languages afterwards. You'll learn more about data representation, so we'll build on your Key Stage 3 knowledge, but you will also learn about things like data compression and how we're able to transfer data. You'll look more in depth at the hardware and whenever possible, we'll try and give you opportunities to get hands on with pieces of hardware so you understand how they work. We look at the networking and how the communication facilities are in place and what happens behind the scenes to understand how we can manage to do that communication and how data is transferred. Cybersecurity, which is one of the biggest parts of our industry now because it's so important that we keep our data safe. So you'll learn about what the risks are and how you can prevent them. You'll learn about databases, so you'll have a strong understanding of the key concepts as well as being able to learn SQL, which is a query language that's widely used in industry. And we'll look at the wider impacts of technology. So what are the ethical impacts of technology? What laws are there that protect people when it comes to technology? And also what's the environmental impact? And finally, we will look at developments. So we'll look at what's happening in the world of technology. We'll look at AI, we'll look at new developments in devices. Uh, all sorts of areas that are coming into play and investigate those. Beyond the GCSE, there is just a world of possibilities. Technology continues to develop and that means that our industry has to continue to grow. The careers in computing can be focused in many different areas and as you learn about them, you will find areas that are of more interest to you. But there will be jobs in the next few years that don't even exist yet because as technology grows and we use it in different ways and we learn to use it in different ways, new jobs become apparent all the time. Post-16 opportunities and careers are fantastic for computer science GCSE students. It's a really well-respected qualification that in industry they understand that you have got to have really strong skills in lots of different areas. It's developed collaboratively with teachers, industry and the wider computer science community. And so then it has built in progression for your further studies as it's recognised for developing those skills that the employers really value. And the GCSE will provide students with the skills, knowledge and understanding to progress onto either our T level, which is a digital production design and development, which provides students with an in-depth knowledge of the industry with 20% of your time being spent in an industry placement and 80% learning that theoretical knowledge behind uh, the scenes. This is a fantastic opportunity and we have some great local employers that are ready to take on our students. It will also be perfect for anybody who's looking to go down a traditional university route to look at our A-level computer science. 
that coupled with subjects like maths and physics can open a really wide range of opportunities. And again, it's really highly respected when it comes to an academic qualification. I like the coding part of it as I feel like coding is something that's going to be used a lot in the future. And also the, the theory part of computer science does really interest in me a ton. I think we, we cover a, a range of topics, including we sometimes do network and cybersecurity is one I really do enjoy as it's interesting. Um, I've really enjoyed cybersecurity and the programming side of that as well. Like, when you get it right, it just feels really rewarding as well, because you just go, yay, I actually <laughs> figured this out on my own or uh, my own teammates. The Digital Divide project is where we're working on uh, laptops and computers that need fixing for people that are less fortunate, um, who need computers, especially in these times with COVID, we've just been fixing them up, uh, getting really good experience working on these laptops and computers, which will really help um, with just problem solving in general and like in the future, applying for jobs and just gives you really nice experience. So the assessment for this GCSE is split into two parts. Paper one focuses on the computational thinking and problem solving skills that you'll learn from studying about algorithms and programming. This will include some programming written in the exam and the theoretical knowledge that supports the concepts and logic of programming. This comprises of a two hour written exam and is worth 50% of the total mark. To support this, there is a non-examined assessment element that we will do during the course of your studies. We will get you working towards scenario-based programs that will enable you to really understand the full life cycle of software development. These skills that you will learn in these projects will really support your understanding and knowledge to be successful in the paper one exam. Paper two, again, is a written assessment and it includes all the other theory topics. So data representation, computer systems, networks, cybersecurity, databases, including SQL, and the ethical, legal, and environmental impacts. And this is an hour and 45 minute written exam and counts for the other 50% of your total marks. The course is a really, really enjoyable course. It has so much that you get to learn and cover that by the end of it, you will feel really experienced and knowledgeable in computer science, which regardless of whether you continue with the subject will help you have a better understanding of the things that we experience in our everyday lives with technology. We look forward to welcoming you onto the GCSE course. Thank you.